Okay, so we're outside again today, and as you can see, the guinea pigs have just about destroyed the drying green. I've actually been hosing it to try and perk it up a little bit. But you can see by all the squares that they eat a lot, so um, that might be one thing to consider if you're putting guinea pigs outside. They eat a lot of grass when they're out. So remember to adjust their hay and um, hard feed accordingly. Um, they're not like rabbits. Rabbits aren't... Um, well, they eat the grass, but they don't kind of ruin it like this. I've also been out on daisy patrol, as you can see there on the path, a load of daisies. Um, some of the pigs are out. I'm in the middle of hutch cleaning, as you can see the open doors and um, Pickle, who this camera probably won't focus on, he's in his hutch throwing a tantrum because he wants to get out and they're out and he's not. So um, those are the only updates on the guinea pigs. So I'm just in the middle of cleaning their hutches and I was taking a break so I thought I would um, film this video for you. And there's the pigs outside that who's Hutches I'm currently cleaning, so we've got Brody, Basil, um, Pixie, Dusty, um, who's up there, Casper and Gypsy, and then I'll have to cut this grass so I can get rid of daisies as well. Okay, so the actual purpose of this video is to show you some of the things that I've been growing for the guinea pigs, um, and how well they're coming on. As you may or may not know, obviously I live in Scotland and although it's been dry and warm, it's a lot cooler here than it has been in most parts of England. I think if we reach 19 degrees, that's a pretty hot day. So um, things have been growing pretty slowly, um, but they're coming on, you know, nothing to do about the weather. So I've got one of these long plastic planters and in there I actually have this parsley. This I planted last year and it survived over the summer. You can kind of see how thick the stalk's grown, so I think that'll be around for a long time. So that's just some flat leaf parsley, and that's still growing in quite nicely. Um, and then we have um, some spinach. So this here is spinach. It's probably a couple of weeks old, so it'll still be a few more weeks until they'll be eating any of that, but spinach is really good um, for calcium, and just a nice snack for your guinea pigs, but it's one of those vegetables that you only feed one to two times a week because um, it does have higher levels of calcium. Um, the way to work out whether your guinea pig is getting too much calcium is obviously not to give them too much, but um, when they pee, they'll leave calcium deposits. So if the bottom of your cage has got like white on it or the fleece that you use has got white on it that's calcium deposits and it means their body's having to flush out the extra calcium so you might want to cut down a little bit or try and work out why they're getting too much whether it's the vegetables and things that you're giving them or if the food that you're feeding them is just inappropriate like um, a food that has alfalfa or lucerin in it. Okay so and then up this end I've got some lettuce it's again it's quite slow growing this year it hasn't been um, quite warm enough um, for plants and herbs and things to grow the ground temperature has to be five degrees and because we've been dropping down to about eight degrees at night obviously the ground's probably a little bit colder so um, yeah things have been quite slow growing this year um, again lettuce has absolutely no nutritional value it's not just iceberg lettuce all lettuce is pretty much doesn't give them much so it's something you don't want to feed them too often either Okay, so in this next pot here, you can see it's a little bit flattened, and that's because I've just been watering them with me hoos. So, um, in here we've got some garden cress and some curly leaf parsley. The guinea pigs like the curly leaf parsley way better than the flat leaf parsley. And if you have the two, if you smell them, you'll notice that there's a stronger um, odour to the curly parsley, and I think they like quite strong foods and herbs. Um, I do recommend herbs for guinea pigs because you can feed them daily, you can feed them as a treat, they're good for putting in forage boxes, that kind of thing, whereas vegetables have to be fed a little bit more sparingly depending on the vegetable. Um, so as you can see the cress is a lot nicer and greener than indoor cress. I personally don't like indoor cress, I don't like the smell of it. Um, I like it in food but um, the guinea pigs weren't a big fan so I recommend trying some garden cress because it grows quite well and looks there's so much of it and you just can pick off the heads and then they'll grow back in again within a few days. Um, so I do recommend that and it lasts for most of the summer. Um, parsley's a good one because mine um, stayed alive kind of thing all winter but again parsley has got a high calcium content. 
Okay, so in my final large pot, um, you can see the growth is just starting to appear. What's actually in here are carrots, and unfortunately I obviously didn't um, put the seeds out very well, or they moved when pots fell over in the wind and things. But um, yeah, they're going to be the slowest growing, because obviously I don't have a greenhouse, they would come along a lot faster if you had a greenhouse, but... Um, I'm not one for it. I don't start plants inside because I found that if you start them outside or in your shed or garage, obviously, um, then they seem to get a bit more hardier and survive a little better over the winter. And then you can see just there, a rogue piece of curly parsley has found itself in there and there. So I'll let you know um, how the carrots come along. They're more of an experiment. I'm not really sure if they're going to grow because, like I said, it's not that warm here. There's a little leaf in there that I'll take out. Again, these are just in large ceramic pots. Um, I think they actually grow a little bit faster in plastic pots because plastic pots retain the heat from the sun a little bit better. But again, um, although it's warmer here, we're not big on sun in this part of Scotland. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure if you've had um, any plants grown outside, you'll recognise this, and this is mint. This is my guinea pig's absolute favourite. They love mint. If you want them to eat anything, <laughs> <laughs> mint is, um, excuse me, a firm favourite. Mint's a really good one. It's good for their digestion. If they've got sore or upset tummies, it'll also calm their stomachs as well. So it's a really good one to have if you have guinea pigs or rabbits. And I'm sure hamsters probably enjoy it as well. It's worth a try if they have stomach upsets. If they'll take a little piece of mint, make sure it's small though if you give it to a hamster. Okay, and the last two pots I've got growing here, you can hardly see anything. This one's lemon balm. It's only just started sprouting. This has actually been in here for about three weeks. And again, um, because we haven't had the best weather, it's just starting to sprout. But I'm happy to see that it is coming along. So hopefully we'll have some nice lemon balm in a couple of weeks. I'll update you when um, things sprout a little bit further. And then in this one here, I've just got some more mint, because as I said, it's the guinea pig's favourite, so I just wanted to grow a little bit more. And if you're not sure what you're looking at, it's just the kind of tiny little green circles. Those are just um, the first sprouts of um, mint, but hopefully we'll get a little bit more sunshine and rain. Um, I recommend watering them, all of your herbs and vegetables, at least once a day. Um, never water them when the sun's beaming down because they will actually burn, the leaves can burn. So wait till the sun's gone away in the evening and then just give them a quick water with the hose or just pour some water into them and make sure you um, pour some in, see how much it's soaking up. If it all gets soaked up, put a little bit more in. You don't want to drown them. Okay, so the last thing I've got here is just for a little bit of fun. Um, it's not for the guinea pigs, it's just for me to see if it would grow or not. And it's actually just one of these pots that you get in Asda. And it's a pumpkin mammoth growing pot for the spookiest ever Halloween. Um, in lanterns, I was going to say interns, lanterns. And as you can see, it should grow into a pumpkin. But I actually, I haven't got high hopes. I don't think it will. Um, I initially, I started this off inside. Um, and I think there were two two or three pumpkin seeds. As you can see, only one of them's grown. I think that might actually be some mint or lemon balm that's mooched its way in there, but I'm not sure it could be a weed. But anyway, um, I actually got one of these pots in Asda. And I actually don't recommend that you buy Asda's ones because there was beasties in it. There was obviously little microscopic beasties in the mud and initially they'd eaten the leaves. So I picked off the leaves and they have grown back again outside. They're not the healthiest looking colours. You can see they're not very green and they have had a lot of sunlight. So I'll let you know if I have a pumpkin come Halloween. Okay, so those are all the things that I've got growing for the guinea pigs. I do recommend you trying to grow your own herbs, even if you don't have a garden, um, or, yeah, even if you do have a garden, but even if you don't have a garden, you can have a window box where you can grow herbs, or just um, get a, a nice indoor pot, a pretty pot, or you could get a plain pot and do your own paintings, you could draw your guinea pig on it, anything like that. And as long as you've got a window that you could put it in where there's not so nice sunlight, and obviously if you live with your parents and you want to grow some indoor herbs, make sure you ask for their permission. But if you grow things like um, parsley really grows really well, parsley and mint and things, and um, you can see that these here, these aren't weeds, these are actually chives. Um, guinea pigs can't have them because they're part of the onion family, but you can grow them for yourself. They grow really well inside. But if you grow some parsley and some cress and some mint, they grow really nicely. And you can actually use them in your own food, the lemon balm as well. So I do recommend that. 
So I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any more questions just post them in the comments below.